Hi, my name is Sylvie and my job is to take the overwhelm out of paleo living. So in a previous video, I showed you how I make sweet potato flour. I love using sweet potato flour for making paleo buns, but another way I love to use it is for making paleo breaded fish. And today I will show you how I do this. The recipe is simple and delicious. Even my kids love it. So let's get started. I find that the best fish to make this recipe is wild cod. I buy the frozen cod and I use three packages. I have a family of nine and this is not too much, believe me. <laughs> so you can always modify the recipe if you feel that this might be too much for the size of your family. To thaw my fish, I like to uh, put it in a bath of hot water. So when I make sweet potato flour, I make a pretty big batch and then I like to just keep it in the fridge in a Ziploc bag and I have it available to use whenever I need it. So I just had the perfect amount fortunately left. I'm using one cup and we'll also use one cup of tapioca or arrowroot flour. So you put them in a bowl, you mix them up until they're evenly combined. Add one tablespoon of vermilion or sea salt and keep mixing. So I put all my fish here on the cutting board. It's pretty flaky fish. Um, some pieces are bigger so you can slice them. About this is the size that I normally go for. As a word of caution, I made this recipe once with some wild caught fish that was not frozen, it was fresh. And it was a lot more flaky, so it was very difficult to handle and it didn't really turn out so good. It actually works a little bit better if you make sure that your fish is not completely thawed. So try to just thaw it in your hot water bath until it is still slightly frozen. Before you finish cutting up your fish, it is a good idea to start heating up your oil. I like to use avocado oil. You can also use coconut oil. I might even be using a combination of both. And I use a fair amount. You don't need to have like an inch or anything, but you need a, a good amount to cover the bottom of your skillet. I'm going to finish cutting up my fish while this is heating up. So as you can see, I have some pieces that were still slightly frozen and they stay together a lot better. Um, my pieces that were completely thawed really fall apart. So these are not gonna be really that great, but I'll do my best. So what you do is you use your pieces of fish and you coat them in your flour mix. I like to um, put quite a, a lot in my bowl because there'll be a lot of room in the skillet. Might as well. Then you just mix everything. Make sure there's a nice thick coat of flour on your fish. It does really stick nicely. You don't need to put um, egg or anything like that on your fish to make it stick. It works really well. It's super simple, like I said. Now I feel like the oil is ready. You can also test when you put your fish, it should sizzle like that. And 
while this is cooking, I'm going to be breading more fish. And add more to the flour mix. Um, the small pieces, we'll just have to do our best with that. See how nice and golden? This is our favorite paleo breaded fish recipe in the family. My kids love, love when I make it. While this is cooking, I'm getting a plate ready. And I put some paper towel on my plate, put it on the side. I'm going to um, just turn this one on the side like this. Okay. Okay. Taking these out. I love to serve this fish with my homemade sauerkraut. Super, super easy to have a side dish like sauerkraut. It's one of my favorite tips to simplify meal time. Now, every time you you uh, start a new batch, you should add some oil, just because it gets really messy, and the fish does absorb quite a lot of oil. So I think I was able to get all my tiny pieces of fish. We're gonna finish up with our last batch here. And it's mostly smaller pieces again, so I'm just going to put everything in my bowl. Coat it with the remainder of my flour mixture. Since I have a lot of small pieces in this batch, I decided to use a spatula to turn them. As you can see, my last batch is a bit of a mess, actually a big mess, <laughs> but I'll show you, you can still make it work. So this is the plate where <laughs> my fish was all crumbly, and this is the nice one, but let's see if they're all going to taste just as good. Is that going to be good? Yeah. Yeah. So that's it. I hope you enjoy this recipe as much as we do. Don't forget to check uh, my free paleo course for beginners. I'll leave the link uh, in the description below. And also, if you'd like to see how I make the sweet potato flour, I'll, leave, I'll pin a comment uh, to the video that teaches you how to do that.